Good everybody, welcome back to Real Fan Sports. I'm here with my co-host Nonfiction, and today we're gonna go ahead and check out part two of a two-part series where we're gonna look at yes. the best ever catches, the greatest 40 catches as voted by you, the viewers of this channel. Um, we did the first 20, so we did 40 to 21, and now we're gonna okay. check out 20 to the first. This okay. is gonna be a good one. We've seen cricket catches videos before. This video yes. has a lot of uh, catcher catches, so it's really short oh, ones, okay. quick bounces. I really enjoyed these. People in the comments said that this was not the best catches they've seen, so hopefully, really, two will show them some good ones that they want to see. Okay, well, hopefully, we hopefully we get some good ones, man. But I'm ready for it. Let's get it. Let's do it. <clears throat> so number twenty here. Down the ground. Oh, nice. Oh, nice hit. I don't think so. Oh, Ooh. Okay. So, it already, the top 20 is better than anything I saw. This is like truly was like, okay, this that was a class right there. I like that. Play with a with that one. Wait, where did that? Wait, did that ricochet off the guy's leg? Oh, it did. Off his leg and his butt? Or just his leg? My and the boy dive. Broke, my boy broke his ankle to get the out. I respect the hustle. <laughs> Mm. Oh, Ooh, the one-handed snag was nice. Yeah, that was nice. Going over his head. Oh, his sensational catch. See, that's like it, the shortstop it, kind of jump right there. Is, like is the it just stop. me, or does, is watching like bare hand catches just so much more satisfying than glove catches? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, as a baseball fan, when we see a bare hand catch, it's like, we're like, yes, like, dude, that was crazy. This is every day for the cricket world. But oh, it's, yeah. Oh, it's so satisfying. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. That's all the difference. Your bowlers get the edges, but then you've got to catch them. It makes a tremendous amount of difference if you catch everything going. Nice stretch well, he, he got, he got, he got pretty high up there, too, man. He got a little, little like 20, 30 inches in the air. And 28 for two now, Pakistan. My dude said, you don't got to play basketball to have a vert. Oh, mm, whoa, whoa, nice quick whoa, reflex right see. there. What an My dude's faster than a cat, Four that's for sure. Though. Man, that was a good one. That was a really good Most one. People have... Oh, what a catch. Oh, another what quick snap. That is. My word. Yeah, they heard his, he heard his hand. Well, you know, the thing is, bro, they, their fingers are the probably... Finger Ooh, that was nice. Like, their fingers are probably as strong as can be, bro. <laughs> probably, probably. But that was all fingertips. That was nice. I like that. All fingertips. There's no lack of pleasure in his house. Just that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your boy again? Is that the same one I from the so. 20th? So, I think so. so. Oh, and he good just job. got it before it touched the grass. Yeah. This reminds me of like uh, of uh, Jump Twenty One in oh, basketball. Oh, no oh, way, he got that. Gonna tell a cat you'll never see a he said, mm -mm. "Not today." Oh, yeah. Yeah. He took, he snagged that one. Down the wicket. There's a man back at long on. It's James Curley. Oh, that the is the diving catch. Very nice. Very nice, the diving catch. That that reminds me of this wreck of baseball too. I think I need catch. to see that one a second time, bro. I feel like yeah, I have you gotta, to. You got to rewind it one time. Yeah, you got to rewind it. That dude is putting on a highlight. Down the wicket. There's a man this ain't top ten. This is top Curry. one. Oh, that is <laughs> the That's best nice. I have ever seen. Nice, yes, great sir. catch. Good job. I like that one. <clears throat> on. Every fielder is sprinting up to congratulate him. Oh, you I think so. Better <laughs> you better congratulate him. You owe him a couple that beers after the game. Man, a couple. Over mid on this time. Oh, not over. Oh. Henry takes a storming catch. Nice tracking. Stretch. Oh, he hit that it, was, it, it was a lot of confidence in that hit. Does he get it? Yes, it does. Oh, wow. I was thinking it was going out. I thought it was going to go out, too. Dude, yeah, too the, much. 
And and the and the one thing with those catches too that a lot of people don't realize mm-hmm. it looks simple, but that thing was so high, it, it's all in the sun. So the tracking and the tracing to be able to get underneath that one, opposite shoulder, over the shoulder catch like that, and again, no glove. That's what oh, yeah. makes it's it so, so special. It's so easy. It's so easy to lose that ball and lose that in the air because a fish from playing baseball from personal experience if it's too high and it's going into that that sun range it man it's so hard to see and if you ain't not wearing no shades or anything like that yeah that's it's all bad but that was a great catch great catch definitely <laughs> the screen ah. oh, what a catch. all right henry one-handed matt henry and he stole back like that was nothing. Easy work. Take that. I don't want none of that. Oh, so one thing before we get to uh, catch number nine, we're getting close to the end here. One thing to also notice whenever we're watching these videos that I was taught, one easy way to distinguish between the different types of uh, cricket is white ball cricket is going to be test cricket. Red ball okay. is going to be T20. And there's different strategies for both of those styles. In T20, you're going to see them swing in for the fences more. And in white ball cricket and in, in test cricket, you're going to see them do more chop swings and try to be more technical with their bats. And that's why in the Coley video that we watched, he was more technical because that was test cricket. Whereas in the A.B. De Villiers yeah, yeah. game that we watched, that was – Okay, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, that was T20. So that's why he didn't – he wasn't worried about how long they had to play. He's just worrying about getting the game over. So he's cranking them. But test cricket, they got to be patient. They got to be patient. Yeah, because test cricket can last, what they say, like five days or something like that? Oh, yeah. It can last up to like five yeah. days. It's insane. Yeah. So they, they, it's a matter of will, power, strength, and stamina. They can't go out there <laughs> swinging tight. for the fences <laughs> on day one because they're going to burn themselves out. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Oh, that's high. That's a high fly. Now. Mm-hmm. Can you get underneath it and take it? And he oh, he almost lost it. it. What a grab! Who falling back. That and you gotta change it up. Brilliant. Crowd enjoyed that. So did. Ooh. And he Ooh, got it off the oh. initial bounce. What? Okay. Okay. Here's a gamble. Spin them with the new ball. Catch it. Oh, well, try to he tried to direction it so he could get a quick little point, but uh. Yeah, Williamson was like, nah, son, I got this. I got this. I already knew what he was doing. Nah, son. He's only a short chap, Kane Williamson. But he has to leap to the air. Just watch this. He didn't get hold of it. I want to see that leap. He tried to slip that gap. Just couldn't. My boy said, not in my house. What a start for New Zealand. It's eight for one. Wow, oh, dude, I, I still can't get over these catches. I love so the catch. That's that what I'm saying. I, the anticipation, the read and stuff like that. What what I truly want to know whenever is how are they anticipating this way? Like, I want to know what they're seeing and why they're initially leaning that way. Because when that ball comes out, they're starting to move already. It's not like they're sitting there waiting to react. They're reacting before it comes. So, they're, they've seen something that they look for that makes them jump that way. I mean, it could be like baseball where <clears throat> certain stances, you kind of have an idea where the ball's going. Like if you point your foot as a right-handed batter, if I point my left foot in specific directions, I'm leading the ball that direction. So it could be something very similar, you know, to the stance in in cricket. If they they're so used to it, you know, over time seeing so many different types of stances or, mm-hmm. you know, bat at bats for for lack of a better word, but at bats it could be just it could be they they so used to seeing it a certain way that they know okay it's more likely we're gonna go this way That's so I'm gonna, gonna go. I'm gonna edge this way and see and see if it works out and it probably doesn't work all the time. That's why that's why I make these the top kit. Yeah. Of course, and, and then you know, uh, one thing we've never asked either that it, you know, obviously there's a lot of different types of bowls, a lot of different type of deliveries and stuff yeah. like that. Do the catchers call what type of bowl that they're gonna make? Are they in sync with the? Oh, with that's the, a good question. Bowl? That's a good question. Or yeah. is it all up to the bowler and they just react? I feel like there has to be some type of in sync. I mean, we haven't seen any hand signaling or anything like that that shows it, but. I feel like there has to be something, and maybe that's another reason why they can judge where the ball is going to go because that's where he's trying to put it. So I mean, that could be just them used to 
the bowler in practice where they just know they have an idea and know where the ball is going to go most mm -hmm. of the time or, or how they're going to, you know, prepare the toss. You know, they, they, they have an idea. So yeah. how, they're gonna, how the bowler is going to bowl, basically. So it could be some use of that. Cause I don't know. I don't know if they call shots out the same way as baseball do. I don't know I, if I don't, they do that. It doesn't feel like they do, but yeah, it I does think, feel like I don't they think know they what's that, coming. Yeah. So yeah. that's interesting. Someone let us know. Yeah. Let us know. Do they, or yeah. do they have a conversation yeah. between catcher and bowler, or is it just they got reaction faster than a cat? Because that's what I think. <laughs> Outstanding catch mm. from Sarah Taylor. She anticipated... Yeah, you see, she anticipates. She starts moving <laughs> yeah. right as it's coming yeah, through. That's step. beautiful, man. But Absolutely. in that sign, you see, you see, she sees that they Something changed the direction how, of where they're yeah. moving. She's, so she's watching she's that back. She's yeah. seeing how it's turning. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Very aware. Yeah, she's paying attention to that. Oh, out! Ooh. Ooh. That was quick. That was quick. Okay. The Ashes are just about won this morning. What a corker that was. <laughs> what a corker that was. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> what a corker. And a fifth slip, he was Superman. The way that right arm was out. Have a go at this. Mm, yeah, he, and he's... Wow, that is a catch. Oh, that was just a stuff. nice reach. Yes, oh, sir. If you've paid your money this morning to watch England... My dude is England blown. Supporters. His mind is blown. He's like, who <laughs> just did <laughs> that? Oh, my range. God. He's oh, like, he no oh, damn it. <laughs> Keep them coming in. Yeah, four balls. Only four. All oh, the Australian tour groups around Trent Bridge can't believe what they're witnessing. Here we go again. It, like, definitely he doesn't good grab that. That's yeah. easy for him. Stokes it's easy for him. He doesn't grab him. that. He waited yeah. for the ball to come. And England absolutely elated. <laughs> Bro, can't believe it. <laughs> That's funny. Edge. See, now, in in that catch, compared to the other one, the other one seemed so much tougher. Yeah. And, and that's where it's kind of hard to, uh, like, to comprehend some of these these highlights because we don't know what the moment is. And because a lot of times yeah. big catches yeah. and highlight reels for, you know, any sport, the moment, because the moment's sometimes so big, it makes that catch that much greater. True, true. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. It really depends. That does kind of dictate how we quantify how how good or bad the catch was. Yeah. So yeah. He knew it wouldn't be long before Flintoff got in on the act, but he was aided and abetted by Andrew Strauss, who gets hoisted into the air by the huge all round. This is a great catch. <laughs> Wait, did you catch that down, down under? <laughs> also, I'm noticing, so this this video, guys, those that are watching, this is a top 40 as voted by you. So this is as voted by the subscribers of England and Wales Cricket Board. So some of these are just big moments of what they've witnessed, and they're like, oh, this is got to yeah. be, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, emotional emotions do make moments much bigger. Hype, you're about to have a drop next. So what's going on? <laughs> I feel like I'm on Jersey Shore. Bro. I'm probably <laughs> Especially you got to take top on too. <laughs> I got that. That's it. It's meant to be, bro. Where's my Where's my hair gel, bro? I'm about to spike what hair I got left is going straight up. Oh, that was a high one. Ooh, oh, 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 he stood the hat like, I, I, I am that dude. <laughs> I, I am him. He's done this before, Paul Collingwood as well. First name, for him. Catch. Last name, a few. Heading there, I think it was a sort of thing. One-handed, totally instinctive. He practices for hours to try and pull off something like that. That was almost a miracle catch. And up the cut from thing, Matthew green. Hayden. I believe so. Well, I'm not sure who this and red and blue team like is. Basketball player to pluck that out of the air. Is it? Did it say England in the back? This might, I think this is I think this is T20. That was a red ball, right? So that might be England's T20 team. Could be. I think so. Full. Didn't land it. Catch. Oh, 
Oh, he stole that. He stole that, bro. He just yeah, he stole that. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. He stole that one. Now, one thing, have you have you noticed that some of the pitches look different sizes? Like, because I know how, like, with baseball, you know, certain fields and stadiums, stuff like that, have longer yardage to, you know, to hit it out, whereas others are smaller. Oh, some yeah. have, you know, they have, some have big walls, some have little walls, but it felt like this shot got near the, you know, the out, the out range, uh, I, I don't know all the terminology yet, a lot quicker. I mean, it could just be. Did it feel that way? Was it shorter, or did he just hit it harder? <laughs> it could just be the physics of the hit, you know, because whatever the whatever the speed is coming at it, it's gonna it's gonna be knocked back out. Especially if there's a good pure connection between uh between the two items, it's definitely gonna be go back twice as fast. So it could just be the physics of the of the hit, to yeah, be honest. Could be. Could be. Because I would assume all the all the arenas are pretty much the same. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Yeah. It could even be a difference between cricket, uh, test, ODI, and uh, T20. Oh, well. that's true, too. That's true, too. That like Glenn Maxwell versus England. Oh, he put, he put a lot on that one. I think that might just get there for six, and it is. Oh, oh we've seen this. We've seen this. He one. did himself. We, we have seen this one. one. Yeah, that's in our other video. Yeah. He I've might seen well that one. I remember that one. I've saved a six and got him out. He put a lot of that. He's too. inside the rope. He's inside the yeah, rope. He, he knows he's tumbling back over the rope, so he gets Throws rid it of it there. It's like such Brilliant. a quick reaction, too. Yeah. And now, does he get the just, toe up? Yes, he just gets the toe yeah, up. Barely, just barely gets the foot off the ground. Good job. Great and like the awareness of where you're at on the on the field. Yeah. Like he knew he was well, right near the edge. Again, like like he'd be able to jump that and time that so perfectly because he, he almost stepped down the very beginning. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. He's in the air when he gets the ball in his hand. I, like, I think it's interesting how they can, how they're allowed to do that. I think it's interesting. I think it's, I think it's good. I honestly kind of yeah. like it. So it's yeah. out, I think. I do like it. It's, it's interesting because I would say, never seen. You wouldn't see baseball ever doing no. allowing them to go over really and back. They never allow that. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's like that's like if they hit like a like a like a uh, like a two like a uh, what is it called a. Uh, in infield home run or whatever, where they get the, they oh, get the yeah, second base, yeah. but if it would like bounce off the rafters or one of the stands or whatever and come back, and then the catcher could catch it, you know yeah. what I mean? Because it didn't land, like you know, yeah. <laughs> that's almost like it's almost like street baseball is how that would be. Like, <laughs> yeah, part the, it's, part that, yeah. Skill, it's part of the skill. It's part of the skill set that they have to have. They got to be able to but get. I, I, make I do those like it plays. though. I think it. I think it. I think it definitely fits that sport. I think it definitely fits the sport. For sure. I don't care whether you're English or Australian or Chinese. What an innings by Clank Hill. Cool. What a way for the finish. 17 of 10 balls. It says out ball coming. Right. Not bad. 17 of 10 balls. Not bad. Maxwell, the fielder. England, 282 for seven. Alec Candier returning into the attack. Number one. Oh, he got a lot on that. Oh, the snap. Double, double hand. Excellent. In the celebration after. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Is an outstanding catch from Shikadar. That was a really damn good cap. He's catch. done incredibly well to hold on to it in, when he in, hit the, in the. Yeah, he, do, he knew what he was doing when he was hitting the direction. He's managed to balance where he was in the road. Two hands. And the so thing is, he's well, got to stay in bounds. So, like, his tumble, he he's got to time that right. He can't go out of bounds. You can see, well. you can see at this point right here. Watch, watch as he, he's almost at the apex of his jump when he grabs it. The first thing he does is look backwards and see where where the out of the out of I don't know if you want to call it out of bounds or home run area whatever, whatever you want yeah. to call it. Someone tell me what so it's I called so I don't keep messing it up. But where that area <laughs> is, he's looking and it's like, where is it? Can I tumble? <laughs> Do I need a tumble? Toss it up and then get back in play. That's what's going through his head all within a in in a second. Yeah. Watch, watch as his head snaps. First thing he looks at, that's what he's looking. Yeah, he does. He does look back over his left shoulder. Over his left shoulder, yeah. You can see it. His head leaning that way. Good try, but he, he got you, brother. He got you, Morgan. <laughs> that was a good try. Morgan out for seventeen, ninety-two for four. I mean, got two four, so that's a plus. Man, oh man. Yeah, right. that was nice. 
I'll tell you what, cool I, know, I know you weren't here to watch the first 20 with me, but this yeah. back half of the, of the 20, it truly was better than the first half. Some of these yeah. grabs were phenomenal. I mean, we got some reaction oh, yeah. plays. Yeah. We got some of those deep ball ones that were really tricky because we did mm -hmm. a video where we were actually some big catches in cricket um, that were a lot of the deep balls and stuff like that. And, like, some of them we were really impressed with. Others we were kind of like, yeah. You know, but yeah, like, like all awesome. these were, were, yeah, all these were, were phenomenal. And again, yeah, the moment, yeah. the moment, guys, if y'all know some of these uh, catches that we saw and that maybe we didn't react to as, as highly as what the moment was, let us know what that moment was and what, what happened that made this such a great catch that deserved to be in yeah. this fan voted <laughs> yeah. greatest 40 catches, man. This, this was really fun. I enjoyed this one. <laughs> That's a great question. Is you know if if anybody was you know either watched it or was there in person, you know you know let us know if there's a, if the if the reason why it's in the top forty is because of oh this this and this, let us know because then that can make it that can make you feel that more important or special. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but I, I did enjoy that. I enjoyed that. I did too. Well, guys, keep a lookout because we have a lot more cricket content coming up. We know the Ashes just yes, take place a couple days ago, depending on when this video came out. We plan on reacting some, to some of the Ashes. I know the last game apparently was a banger, so we'll have that one up at some point. Oh, yeah. Um, I did hear that. So please, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Leave us a comment. Let us know how we did. And, you know, let us know who your favorite team is. Give us some links. Drop some suggestions. That way you can uh, react to some more cricket and mm -hmm. keep enjoying this phenomenal sport that for some reason we're just now tuning into within the last six months. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Nine, you got anything else to say? No, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for pressing play, man. We appreciate you. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.